What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and today we've got the Jets versus the Flames. If the Jets win, they clinch a playoff spot. Currently sit third in the Central. You know, coming into this one, it's Dale Howardchuk's birthday, his 61st birthday. Uh, you know, rest in peace to him. Uh, it would be big if the Jets could do that on Dale's birthday. So we head into period one. We still got the fun lines running. That bonus was running, you know, the last few that the fans have been pandering for forever. The Ehlers, Shifley, Velarde line, and then the second line that did very well last game of Connor, Monaghan, and Perfetti. And in the first period, the Jets started a little bit slow. They took a penalty and Mackenzie Weaker scored his 19th. So not an ideal start. 1-0 Calgary and early on, kind of disappointing. It was all Calgary early on in the first and it was a little bit concerning, uh, but you know, Jets were still getting their shots, but maybe not as dangerous as you want. But Calgary takes a penalty and it's going to be Gabe Velarde down low. Look at him, look at him. He's just waiting. He's just waiting for his opportunity. He goes over to the side, boom, wizard. The guy knows where to be to score goals, man. Just always in the right spot, hanging around the crease, and Connor with the slap pass, thing of beauty, 1-1. Now after that power play, the Jets had all the momentum, they hemmed Calgary in their own zone, and then look at this little move by Perfetti. Back in the lineup, again, second game in a row. Like, oh, oh, squeaks out there, flips it to Ehlers, and Ehlers banks it home. Come on, man, Cole Perfetti's a bad man. Jets go up two to one. But now something hilarious happened after this goal. So Ehlers actually went to go play with Monaghan and Perfetti on that shift because Cal Connor was just dealt for the power play, right? So it was just like a little sub thing. But then they scored and bonus went, hey, you know what? You know how these lines have been working really well and way better than the other ones that have been running for the last two months? Let's change them. It only took three and a half periods for bonus to change the lineup that was working. So out comes Connor, Shifley, and Velarde and Look, the, the first period would end. The Jets got hemmed in their zone with Connor Shifley and Velarde, and they reverted right back to how they were in the first period, in the first half of it anyway. They were lifeless, and in the second period, it was more of the same. They were getting destroyed by Calgary. I believe the shots at one point in the second period were 16-4 to in favor of Calgary. The Flames were buzzing here in the second, and Miro Manov actually goes ahead, scores his third of the year, and puts this game at a tie. And the Jets getting absolutely killed hemmed in their own zone and you know you could easily just go back and change the lines but luckily Rick Bonus actually did. The lines then changed back to Ehlers, Shifley, Velarde, Connor, Monaghan and Perfetti and guess what happened? The Jets had a lot of ozone pressure, they drew a penalty, they go to the power play and Tyler Tavoli scores his 31st of the year. Like you can't make this up, just quit touching the lines bones, it's okay, like we're playing good, just leave them alone. Now I wish that was the end of the second, but you know, Martin Pospisil comes up, leaves his feet, hits Josh Morrissey in the head, and I thought this was a lot more serious than it actually was. The hit's disgusting, leaves his feet, elbow to the face, that's a suspension, he got 5 and a game for this one, bonus super pissed off, but the most annoying part about this hit was that it was only marked as a 2 minute penalty you know at first and then you know bonus was like what the hell review it and they reviewed it and they gave him five uh this guy sucks this is the same guy that went out uh hit perfetti you know a couple years ago in the ahl already kind of super dirty hit and then they go out in the preseason headshots perfetti right that check to the head we all remember that in the preseason he got thrown out of a game already against the jets i believe it was something with logan stanley and now he gets tossed out of this one this guy's a rat Fuck this guy. So we head into the third. Jets are unable to score on the extended, you know, five minute major penalty. But we go here in the third. They're carrying play. And Ehlers brings it in. Morrissey shoots it on net. Gabe Velarde picks up the trash. Once again, from in the blue crease, man. Gabe Velarde. He's a dog. Goes out, puts the Jets up 4-2. to two, Feeling pretty safe at this point. Calgary struggling to get back into this game. It was all Winnipeg. And who better to cap this off than the man we traded Pierre-Luc Dubois for in the offseason. Monaghan over to Velarde. Puts it home for his first career hat trick. Capping off this game and clinching the Winnipeg Jets a playoff spot on 
Dale Howard Chuck's birthday, what a way to end it. Jets win 5-2. So the Jets now, with clinching the playoff spot, are four points behind Colorado. Not a lot of runway to go. You're probably going to be playing the Avalanche in the first round. Seems more than likely that's going to be the case. Uh, I think the Jets can beat them, definitely with depth. Uh, of course, they don't have a Nathan McKinnon or a Kale McCarr. Those are very insane players that very few teams can match. Uh, but depth-wise, I think the Jets are deeper. I think they're more talented. Um, I think they can beat the Colorado Avalanche, and that's probably who they're going to be playing in round one. I hope that the Jets can kind of maybe claw their way to have home ice advantage, uh, but we'll have to see how that all shakes out. But uh, can't really complain. Uh, Jets making the playoffs here. Colorado in the first round. It's going to be a fun one. After the game, Gabe Lardy was asked, you know, what his first career hat trick had meant to him. He said, it's a great night for me, but it's a better night for the team making the playoffs. Uh, still got a long way to go. A lot of work needs to be done still, but definitely a good night. And I love that answer. I love the, you know, works not done mentality because uh, Jets got some big tasks ahead of them here uh, heading into the playoffs. It's going to be a fun one. Uh, man, I love Gabe Lardy, man. This guy, super, super clutch. The guy is so damn good and he's a piece that Winnipeg has been missing for, you know, years. He's so important to this team. When he's gone, it's very noticeable. So hats off to Gabe Velarde, literally for his first career hat trick. And it should be no surprise that the big old shining star award today is going to Gabe Velarde. Uh, big shocker, uh, you know, first career hat trick. That's going to get you that any day of the week. Big game for him. Really stood out. First line looked incredible with Ehlers, Shifley, and Velarde. And uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Keep it rolling. This team is so much fun when they're used properly. And I think Bonus is kind of realizing now that, okay, you know what? We got something here. Let's let it ride. Uh, see how long uh, Cole Perfetti can... You know, stay in the top six. I hope it's for a while. I hope that line gets cooking because if you have Tyler Toffoli on your third line with Lowry and Niederreiter, whoo, baby, right? So very fun to think about, but Jets have a very good team heading into the playoffs. Just a little house cleaning note. Adam Lowry did get, you know, hit up in the head by Kevin Rooney there in the third period, and he went down, didn't look good, looked like, you know, maybe he had a concussion, was yelling at the refs. He got pulled from the game uh, by a concussion spotter, did not return, but uh, looks like he's all good. Bonus was reassuring that, you know, everything's fine. Spotter just had to take a look at him. Obviously, uh, you know, a little bit annoying that Kevin Rooney had to, you know, hit Lowry up high like that, and, you know, maybe accidentally on purpose, but I just wanted to give, you know, a little update on that because, uh, you know, that's the captain, man. You need Lowry for the playoff push, and uh, now's not the time to start getting hurt. So now with the Jets clinched, I wonder if they do kind of start to, you know, load manage a little bit. Maybe some guys don't play because they have knick-knack injuries. I want to get everybody 100% for the playoffs. So we'll see what Bones does uh, going down the line here. But I think that, uh, you know, with six games to go, it might be time if guys have any, you know, small injuries, uh, maybe keep them out and let them heal up. But with that, guys, I'm done. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below. How do you feel about the Jets clinching the playoffs? What do you think about their chances in the playoffs? I want to know. Uh, how do you feel about probably playing Colorado? We'll see, right? Uh, it's going to be a dogfight in the West, and I can't wait to see how it all shakes out. So let me know. Give your thoughts down below. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Go Jets, go. Bye-bye.